Scientists in Australia say this superworm may prove crucial in scaling back some of the damage done by humans who have made a toxic mark on humanity. I think it's a, it's a very exciting discovery um, for, for us because you know when we started it, um, we, we didn't know if the superworms could actually do, do what we want them to do to create the plastic. So that, that's, that's a good outcome. Originally from Central and South America, the superworm grows to more than five centimeters in length and is often used for pet food. This group of scientists found the species took a particular liking toward polystyrene, one of the most common types of plastic. The superworm's peculiar appetite potentially playing a pivotal role in reducing waste. What one could, you know, Theoretically, um, have like a few hundred thousand uh, superworms in a, in a big in a big building, right, and let them degrade it. But that doesn't scale very well. So the idea is we want to um, characterize the enzyme better than reproducing in the lab, and then have like an enzyme cocktail. So then we can at, uh, at some point you know upscale it to like industrial setting. A step they hope will be in the right direction towards a healthier planet on land and at sea. Julian Wolf, Al Jazeera.